prayed a lot, a lot, and with just one single attention just to help with the, the higher energy from the original universe. Every day I thank the councils and thank the power of God and the cosmic for helping humankind to become more enlightened, more loving, and peaceful. Helping the needy is really helping yourself. The reward is more than anything you can imagine. You're a good boy, and I love you forever, forever. You're my best friend. It's not how much you have. It's the best you give. Help yourself, you know, cultivate, meditate, pray. You keep yourself in the same path, in the straight area. Keep your mind clean and determined. God bless you. I love you. I just show you the way. You just have to walk. You see? That's why the more positive, the more meditation, the more your life changes. Okay? Positive, positive. Besides, a lot of people here today, maybe we can share the karma. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants that mosquito karma, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's not fair that I take it all. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we continue talking, yeah? Or not? So good, huh? Working? Good. Okay, very good today. Everything seems good. Plastic flowers look good. <laughs> okay. I feel more comfortable wearing just uh, this kind of clothes. Don't, don't, don't criticize, okay? <laughs> I have to sit here a long time. <laughs> I was going to wear some flowery things so that you can look at the flower instead of my wrinkles. <laughs> but I thought flowers look too, I don't know, too old. <laughs> old people don't wear flowers. No, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, when I met one of my long-time friends a couple of weeks ago, uh, their daughters were beautiful and young, you know, and I, you know, wearing this kind of, uh, how to say, big clothes. And, uh, and they said to me, you, you look more than before. <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, just a clothes. <laughs> if, if I wear like her, I would look, you know, all the same. And I said, but I'm, I don't wear this kind of things anymore. You know, those uh, very tight on the body, yeah, showing whatever you got. <laughs> so I don't wear them anymore. Nah, recently, you know, up to now, I don't wear them anymore because you're older and whatever you wear, you're still older. <laughs> yeah, I say, old people like me you don't need to wear these kind of things anymore. So, 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 I say, uh, we also old, huh? Huh? <laughs> Because I don't mean you, I just mean me. Yeah. Okay, you want to talk more uh, like the topic this afternoon we left over? Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yeah, yeah, microphone. Yeah, tell me, Spain. Yes. Uh, you from Spain? Mm -hmm. Yes, from the south. Where? From the south. From south. Madagascar. Madagascar. Oh, Madagascar. No. <laughs> Madagascar. Malaga. Malaga sent Malaga I have been in Malaga for maybe I don't know, one month or something. A few years ago. Oh, very nice. Nice uh, nice very green, you know. When you go through Spain first you see greenery and all that, you know, uh, a little bit more north. And then later you feel like Alicante area, 
Well, the Alicante is very dry. There's no trees and anything. Look like they chop them all down to make something or to burn before, you know, a long time ago. And it doesn't revive, or maybe the mountains there are just like that. And then later on, you go further south, it's very green. Yeah, beautiful. Yes, uh, actually, uh, from San Sebastián, this in the south of Spain, we were some systems insects, we were organizing some workshops and courses to teach people, uh, some courses to teach people uh, vegan food and raw vegan food, and we were surprised that there are so many people who are interested in making this change, even directly in living, uh, eating meat, to go raw vegan. Wow, so great. Yes, uh, and even we were given also a, a, on the radio a program to to talk about the vegan food and oh. vegan also. Yeah, many many people are very happy with this. So we are yeah. happy too. Yeah, I'm happy to hear. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you, huh? Okay, next one. <laughs> next one. Okay, uh, the, the cakes come a little bit nearer, please. <laughs> Not you, but the cake. <laughs> Yeah, it's about this side, this area. So I get, I get my, 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 my. You know, old people who cannot bend it very well. Here, my love. Yeah. Hello, Master. Hello. Mm. <laughs> Are you going to blink forever or you talk? <laughs> mm. Master, my mom told me to send you her love. Love. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she couldn't make it to come. Your mother? Yeah. Okay. Why? Um, the visa problem. Money? No, visa. Visa. A visa problem. problem. Where from? Why visa problem? Um, I'm Persian master. Huh? A Persian? Persian? Mm -hmm. A visa problem to come here? Yes. How, how could you come then? Uh, master, I live for two years in Costa Rica. Oh? And also, I need visa for here, but uh, like last month, out of no reason, I went to the uh, Spain embassy and yeah, and, and then what happened? And then I get the visa, and then I could come. Oh, congratulations! Yeah. I'm sorry for your mom, huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. she must have felt very, very sad. But you know, Persian. You mean you mean uh, uh, Iran? Yes, ma'am. Okay. They're talking good yeah. now. Yeah. Thanks. My Thank God, you, for long, many, many years. We all know it's your work. <laughs> for your mom. Thank you so much. Special, <laughs> only one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, master. Thank you. You're welcome. Tell her also, I send my love, okay? And I'm sorry for her that she couldn't come, but I hope in the future it will get better. Actually, Master, many uh, Persian initiates are there and really love you, but they cannot come. Yeah. Before in Thailand, so many people come. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what yeah. Is that? <laughs> what is that? Persian? <laughs> ah, very nice. Yeah. We can't have everything, you know. I know, Master. Thailand is so hard, huh? Yeah. <laughs> everybody climbs 16 stairs, flights. <laughs> Oof, I would not bother again. In Thailand, it's too easy. Everybody can I come know. from Vietnam, China, you know, neighboring country, easy visa. So they all come more than we, we, we can arrange. I know. The whole hotel booked already, and they overflow. They stay in everywhere. And, and then the government, so kind, even have to bring the outside toilet for us. <laughs> My God. <laughs> only in Thailand they do that, you know? Not only they don't say anything to us that we overflow like that, but they brought even facilities. I was ever grateful, you know? Afterward we came and make some contribution, you know, also to pay for that. But still, the kindness, you can never pay. Yeah. You know, Thailand people, very hospitable to foreigners. But in the future, you know, the world got to be better. Yeah. You know, it got worse already. It cannot get worse. It cannot get more worse than this, right? Mm -hmm. So it has to be better because people are talking with each other now instead of bombing. Mm -hmm. I mean, many places, yeah, like the difficult one, difficult issue, like Persian and America, Cuba and United States, you know, things are getting better. and. I'm I'm glad. It just 
too slow for my liking, but I'm glad. And I'm diligently <laughs> meditating, praying, uh, with your blessing and your help, your support, the world will get better. It has to get better. Yeah? Okay. Next one. Uh, I wasn't here this afternoon. Are we uh, telling happy stories? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, just one moment. Iranian, you come here. Come here, come here. It's too heavy for me. Come, one, one of you or both of you. Come up. Come here, come here. You take this one home, okay? And give it to every... I go to Oh, you don't go on our her. Okay, you bring it to, to give whomever, the Iranian disciple you can, yes. for me, with all my love, okay? Yes. This one. This one I've been touching all afternoon. Okay, take it. <laughs> <laughs> with all my love, okay, Kevin? Thank you. Thank you, Master. Yeah. And you can... Yes. Oops. Ooh. And Costa Rica, you just came here today? Last night. How did you know that you come? Somebody told you? Or you just want to come? Oh, oh my God, from Costa Rica. <laughs> I say, European people, if they want to come, they can. Because it's so near, you know? And then they <laughs> email all over the world, right? Because today I heard like uh, Canada and I don't know, huh? America and. Oh, France, <laughs> South Africa, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and Costa Rica even. Wow, that's far away. Costa Rica is really, it's really far, huh? Yeah, almost one day and half. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I am so sorry. Okay, it's good. So how about the, the cake for your mother? You think you bring it to Costa Rica and then bring it back to Iran? Uh, Huh? No, I can go Iran. No, I where, wherever. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's just a symbol of love. Thank it's you, Master. Nothing much. Come back inside. Okay. And maybe she bring one to your mother also. Hmm? Oh, it's in different cities. They are different city. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they can email. Of... You know, email the text. <laughs> <laughs> Take a photo and say here. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> well, if you send it with love, they receive it. You yeah, know. Yeah, Master. Receive love, receive love. We always love. Uh, received your love in the last retreat, but we couldn't make it to come. Yeah? Okay. Yes. I'm so sorry the word is still so backward. My God. It's 21st century already, you know? And still fighting with each other and killing each other. This is terrible. Sometimes I thought I'm dreaming. How can this be? You know, not just still killing animals, but killing each other for any reason at all. Whatever reason is, there's no reason to do that. Hmm? I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. And then uh, sometimes innocent country or innocent people got the bad effect from that. That is a thing, you know, <laughs> not just a two fighting party. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, never mind. It's very difficult. One day it will get better. I hope it's in my lifetime. Yeah? <laughs> Okay, next one. Good news. Yes, ma'am. Sharing. Oops. Yeah, you were not here in the afternoon. Okay. No. So we're sharing happy stories. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You can do it now. Uh, I'm from Victoria Center, Canada. So the West. Uh, oh, also there's Vancouver Center, and then we have a very small center on Vancouver Island. Very far. Victoria, yeah. Uh, seven disciples. Very talented uh, group, and uh, for Earth Day this year, uh, we did two things. We wrote a storybook uh -huh. um, called The Pig in the Pink Tutu. <laughs> <laughs> and then? <laughs> so the pig is wearing a pink ballerina outfit, right? Uh -huh. So cute. And um, so <laughs> can you imagine, right? It's so cute. And Where's so we, the book? What's that? Where is the book? Um, I brought some samples oh, okay. if you would like to see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then? So cute. So we, we uh, uh, wrote it, and then one sister did all the drawings, and anyway, group effort, right? Yeah. And it was, it's, it's all about loving kindness towards all beings, uh -huh. you know? So it's a book about veganism. Yeah. So very sweet. And then um, we uh, wrote a play, you know, like a theater play. 
A play? A play. A play. Play. Oh, okay. You know, like on stage theater play. Yeah. And we're all amateurs, believe me. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> we're all amateurs, but we wrote the play together. We had and lots of together. fun. We wrote it together. One sister made all costumes. There are nine of us. Mm -hmm. All uh, wore animal costumes, you yeah. know, like cows and pigs. Because uh -huh, okay. the play was called The Pig in the Pink Tutu okay. as well, right? Uh -huh. And, um, and uh, there was music in there, and the play again was all about veganism. Yeah, and it was so much fun. We had two uh, disciples come from Vancouver Center to uh, put the play on with uh, with us, and uh, now it's all up on YouTube. It's some fun. people came to look. Yeah, it was uh, at the Earth Day festival, so we oh, had uh, actually two times Master's blessing. We put the play on twice, and we had families come mm. and watch uh, oh, okay. the play. So no. Oh, it's good. It's very creative. Yeah, we, we just good. had a. It's amazing how much talent our your disciples have. You yeah. Know? What do you mean amazing? They do have it. <laughs> it's normal. It just comes out of nowhere. You it's know? normal. It's normal. Oh. Told you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I share one more story? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. You don't know you have talent until you calm down. You know, meditate, and then all the good things come out. Just make sure the bad things don't come out. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then uh, last year, um, a group of us disciples built a, a, a greenhouse, a yeah. three and a half meters by seven meters, something like that. Yeah. And it's amazing how much food we can grow in that greenhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So the disciples come on Sunday. It's in the center uh, ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, they come and they take all the food. The green food, and it looks like they haven't have friends who don't have a lot of money, so they take food and give it to the poor people, their poor friends, and then the neighbors come and take the food. And wow, okay. anyway, it's very special, you know. Yeah. It taught us that one one small area can grow so much yeah, food. Yeah. You could make even uh, layers, you know. Yeah, yeah that's I think why. next year we'll make layers. Yeah, yeah, and then much more even. <laughs> yeah. The short plants on top, and the tall plant on the bottom. On the bottom, yeah. yeah. So we're still trying to figure out how to spread more of it, maybe to the food uh, banks. Uh huh. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we're we're learning but... many things we can do. You know, yeah. if you like to do something with passion, then it turns out okay. Oh, with love, yeah. Lots of love, yeah. So Wonderful. Those it's are good. My stories. Okay. <laughs> it's good. Uh, next one. Anyone else who want to express your opinions? No. Okay then. Uh, one story again. Yeah, Poland? Poland. I'm sorry, can you see me behind there? Can, huh? With, uh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is as tall as I get, you know? <laughs> even if I stand up, it don't make a difference. You know my size. <laughs> Maybe even worse. <laughs> you know, now the reason... Oh, yeah, just wait a minute. Uh, you know, the reason why they always make a high days for the Buddha or for a master to stand on, to, to sit on, so that everyone can see him, not because a master loves to sit on high. What for? You know, higher the hotter, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Now I remember uh, before you came, there was, uh, I told that this, the, your sister and brother before that people, they sometimes they come to my lecture, they don't. In, they don't uh, pay attention, or they don't. They're not interested in what I have to say. They're just interested in what I wear, or why not wear, or uh, why I sit on so high instead of bowing to everybody on the uh, on the street, you know. Or the, why don't wear tattered clothes? I monk, you know. I look more humble. I say if I wear tattered clothes, then the security guard won't let me in here anyway. You see what I mean? Yeah. I say, uh, before there was one Bodhisattva, he vowed to bow to everybody in respect and say, you are the Buddha, you will be the Buddha, I won't dare to look down upon you and all that. And why now I sit on the high chair, you know, on the high platform? Suppose I go down and bow to all of you, when will we stop? <laughs> huh? <laughs> it's good exercise, <laughs> it's just, it's just, we don't have room to even bow to everybody, understand? Number one, number two, it will take forever. 
then I wasn't invited there to bow, right? Was I? I was invited there to speak. Yeah, now I remember. I remember that uh, I have to sit, I tell them that I have to sit on high so that the people can see me. That's why they arrange it that way. Because the other night I told you I don't remember what I answered that guy. So now I remember, yeah? And here they, they just put a chair so you don't see me very well. In, in, the, in, the, in the hall, they put the chair higher. Why didn't you do that today? Just put some um, bricks on it underneath and it'll be higher also. Yeah, but if I stand up, also don't look much different. <laughs> okay, Poland. Uh, hi, Master. Hi. Uh, we would like to share another story um, about the one of Polish universities. Uh, it uh, has recently opened a new department. Yeah. Uh, rehabilitation of uh, animals department. Uh -huh. uh, and first time um, in the history... To do uh, what? They opened the rehabilitation of animals. A rehabilitation uh, department. Okay. Yeah, for uh, animals. Yes. So, wow. uh, no one uh, applied for uh, studies at the um, uh, farming department, where yeah. where they uh, teach how to breed animals. Yeah. But instead, all the applications went to the new department uh -huh. for rehabilitation. Wow, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Poland's getting better, huh? Wow, change so fast. Just for one or two decades, eh? Thanks to your grace, Master. From the, you know, the restricted uh, country, it's become so open and so welcoming new ideas and new lifestyle, eh? That's very, very incredible, no? Really incredible. I'm so glad. Bless your country. Thank you. <laughs> I don't encourage a renunciation or going to the forest and all that. It's just that it really helps, you know, because I know it's difficult for you, all of you, to do this kind of thing, you know? I cannot keep encouraging the things that you impossible for you to do, almost impossible all the time. So you just do your best. But the Master Power will always help, okay? Thank and you. the time that you depart from this world, you... Your, your merit will, will be multiplied so that you can go very high, okay? Yeah. Right now you have to struggle a little bit. Uh, even if the Master blessing come to you, you also don't see, you don't hear, because you're so scattered, you know, your mind is scattered everywhere. But if you're sincere, you know, the Master never left you. The Master will know it and will help you a lot. Multiply, yeah? Is this the sincerity also? It's important. In this world, whoever can sit and meditate and concentrate immediately, huh? There's a lot of things to do. Your cat, your dogs, <laughs> your husband, your wife, your children, they take things from you, take attention from you. That's why the Buddha is all, has always encouraged people to become monks and nuns. But it has to be with sincerity, you know, not just to come in just for an easy life or just to come in and try to see what it's like or just to be like a reverent person. Then, then it doesn't work. It's even worse than being a lay people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that uh, doesn't mean that uh, if you are a monk, then you you become better or you practice better. It also depends on your personality, your. In a sincerity, yeah. In the Buddha's time, it's, it's different, you know? Like it's also in India, you see? People are used to with monks going begging on the street. It's more independent. In that case, anyone can become a monk and then, you know, take care of himself. Just nowadays it's different. Suppose I accept many of you that we don't have enough room, then I have to go around looking for houses again. And then I have to do more business, you know, uh, in order to earn more money, to take care of you and take care of the houses and all kind of stuff. And then if you are not born in, or you're not European, then I have, I have problem you know, with visa. You see what I mean? It's different. 
it's, it's very sad, but... So we go all to India, and then I can buy a piece of land, it's cheap there. And anybody can go out on the street, take care of themselves, <laughs> even, <laughs> even in come back, and we talk. No? That would be fun, huh? How about that? I'm not sure if people still donate a lot nowadays in India. When I was in India, I was in the Himalaya, near where the Dalai Lama uh, palace is, you know. I saw a monk. He said he hasn't eaten for two weeks. Nobody donates him anything. In the Buddha's time, I don't know, everybody donates something. <laughs> you know, food. Or invite the Buddha and the whole Sangha, imagine. Thousands of them, thousands of monks, or at least uh, 500, 600 of them, all at once to come in, in one place to eat vegetarian lunch. But only once a day, no? Yeah, I think the Buddha knows very well. <laughs> if, the, if anyone, no one can invite three times a day, every time like that, you know? And, and have to be very la lavish in meals. Because to offer to the Buddha and the Shangha like that is very, very big merit. Everybody would want to do it. Not because of merit, but they know it's a good thing to do. Mm. It's, it's difficult life we have. Mm? We have everything. We have uh, all kinds of facilities and, you know, civilized cleanliness and all kinds of machine, all kinds of things, comfort. But uh, the the spiritual aspect is different, yeah, yes, and we can't change it, yeah, can't change it. I also don't wish that any of my monks or nuns have to go out begging on the street and wearing, you know, tattered clothes and all they wash once every two weeks. If you go out on the street and you come back again and again, it's, it's not that clean, yeah, and you have to wash every two weeks and it's not that clean. Okay, but now they're in, uh, in, in Thailand, in Thailand or in Burma or Cambodia, there are still a lot of monks, still a lot of monks, they still go out begging on the street and people still line up on the street to, to give them offering. But I'm not sure you will be used to that kind of life. You see, like, like the lay person would hold big pot of rice like this, and she would use her hand to put a, a pin, pin, pinch in your bowl, and the next month another pinch. I'm not sure if she washed her hand or not. Even if she did, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure if I can live that life. You see, I mean, I'm not used to it. You, you got to be used to it, you know? The whole surrounding has to support this kind of lifestyle, understand? And you will should be born into it, then you feel better that way, you know, otherwise you can't. And you have to wear no shoes, just uh, one one bowl, and then you, you bring it home and you share it all together. They don't warm, I don't nothing, they just eat as it, as is, yeah? And then they go meditate or read the, read the sutra. And it's not the worst thing about the hands. They will put meat in your food. Wow, over there they eat meat. Uh, Hinayana means small vehicles, Buddhism. Mahayana, they don't eat meat. They are vegetarian. But Hinayana, they eat anything that is offered to them. As long as they don't see it is killed in front of them, like the chicken can be killed in the backyard and then bring to the front yard, then it's okay. <laughs> yeah, over there they open, uh, they offer the whole chicken to the monk or whoever, you know, in the temple. That's what they do. They offer all kinds of things, you know, meat, fish, anything, vegetable, also fruit. But suppose we go to India or we go to <laughs> Burma, where people offer things like that to, to monks. Would you like to go then? Would you like to be my monk? Huh? Then we can all go together. I can shave my head again. Convenient. <laughs> no need to shower a lot. <laughs> I don't shower a lot, but my hair is nice. Yeah. Understand? The so life is different in different country. <laughs> so if that man asks me again why I don't wear this kind of tattered monk's robe, then I I have no idea how 
what what is in his head, yeah? In America, ask me that kind of question. <laughs> you know, in you wear tattered clothes. I was once a. Uh, one time I gave some money to a homeless person. She looked already so tired and black and blue. And somebody tell me, no, no, she take drugs, don't give her money. I said, I don't know that. She's hungry, I just give her money to, to go with. McDonald only, they kick her out. They say, no, you're not coming here. I say, show him the money. And she, show, she, she said, I, I have the money, I, I have the money. So beautiful, you know. I say, you sell what she wants, or I will sue you. That's not nice. She has money, she's your customer, and then the manager behaves and then sells her things. You know, I don't know why I had such a courage at that time. <laughs> Normally, I don't talk like that to outside people. <laughs> Maybe I talk like that to you, because <laughs> you are my <laughs> disciples. But to outside people, I don't care. I, I'm very polite, you know, very humble. and. I don't protest anything. But that day I was very angry because they keep shooing her out, you know, and she was shaking, scared, you know. She, I said, show, show them the money. And she said, I, 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 have, I have the money, I have the money, let me beg it for it. My God, terrible. And then they sold her something. And later I buy some more and bring it out to her. I said, you sit here, eat with me. Because they were going to, to throw her out of the, the, even outside the garden. They don't want to let her sit there. Of course, she's all tattered, you know, and smell for many days. Don't, don't, don't bath, maybe like that. And I also understand the standpoint, the position of the manager of the restaurant. I understood. But she was hungry or so hungry and cold already. You can't do that, you know. At least be nicer, say, please, you know, we have customer, maybe they don't like it. I sell you something, could you please go outside somewhere else to eat, you know? Being kind, it's not about, it's an attitude I didn't like. You see what I mean? I understood him, I understood her, but it's attitude I did not like. Okay, so if that man asked me to wear tattered monk's clothes like in India, you know, Oh, <laughs> I will ne never get past the security gate. <laughs> Understand? They just look at me from the picture, from the, how I say, from the inter, interphone, yeah, from the gate, and probably they already call police. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, every country is different. We can't do that. Yeah. Okay. And when I was wearing monks, nuns' clo clothes, I everywhere I went before in the old time when I first came out. I was wearing nun's robe. Oh my God, so terrible, so difficult to get through the airport. They take my shoes and x-ray it and my hair and it. I have to strip, you know, sorry. So just body search, really like that. Press on the wall like a criminal. All that through Canada, sorry, yeah, <laughs> to go into Canada. And then another time, go into some places in, in America. It's very difficult. With a bow head <laughs> and a simple long robe like that. Uh, even though some know about Buddhism, but not all know about it, you see? Probably if I wear the monk's robe, like the yellow one, you know, with one cover on the shoulder, then maybe they recognize more. But if you wear some clothes like from Vietnam, the nun, nun's robe, monk's robe from Vietnam or from China, then not everybody knows about it, not everybody. And the officer in the in, uh, airport, they do their job, you know, everything unusual, they have to check. And they ask uh, my, they ask, uh, my uh, assist, one of the person go next to me, why does she wear like that? <laughs> and he said, that's what she wears. <laughs> <laughs> she wears all the time, <laughs> but they don't understand, you know, like that. And uh, because first time when I went to uh, Canada to lecture, we bought a lot of equipment eh, at that time, you know, micro earphone, yeah, camera and all that. And they check every little thing. Oh, it take hours and hours and hours. And I thought I would never get through the airport. It's 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 not that easy. You understand? 
So that's why later I change. I just wear pretty clothes so that they let me out quick. <laughs> Very posh. Must be good rich family girl, you know? Yeah. And expensive uh, suitcase, good clothes. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to Canada. <laughs> Welcome to America. Welcome to this and that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like that. Even to the bank. If I wear very simple clothes, they don't even look at me. And welcome to everywhere, yes. <laughs> welcome to first class hotel, welcome to restaurant, welcome anywhere. I told you already, but sometimes I don't learn. Because I'm too lazy to keep changing to, to nice clothes. Because nice clothes, you have to put makeup too much, you know, and wear heels and all that. So if I just wear what I wear from my house, you know, those are simple, easy, uh, and you can even sleep in it, but you can also go out and look decent. But it's all like gray or earth color, you know, dirt. <laughs> so when I sit in a restaurant, I tell you with the, the outdated uh, telephone, they, they don't serve me. They didn't serve me. They make me wait for a long time. People come in and out, in and out, and I'm still sitting there just for a vegan pizza. <laughs> and then uh, I, I asked for a, a pen to write some telephone. I was calling somebody and talking. And the waiter asked me if I have money. Remember? I told you that story? It's like that. Yeah. So mostly I just, if I want something from the restaurant, I don't go out that much at all anymore. I just send some, you know, as a housekeeper or something, <laughs> dog's keeper to come out and get it. Because I don't really feel like going out if I don't have to. Yeah? I feel contented just to stay anywhere, just alone at home or anywhere, even in a tent. It's, just if you're happy inside, you're happy everywhere. You don't need to go out to cheer yourself up or, or anything like that. Only when somebody come live with you or next to you or nearby or do something, and their atmosphere sometimes really so troublesome that you have to go out just to divert your attention. You see what I mean? And that is one of the problems that you have. Because you live with people and they bother you, <laughs> even if they don't do anything. <laughs> Just they being there, the energy, the influence quietly, just disturb your mind so much that even in the meditation you get mad. <laughs> you try to shake it off, but it clings to you for, for hours or for days. But I can't tell you, go and live alone. Go and put a tent up in the mountain somewhere, and then even then you won't be left alone. You know, the police might come and say, why you live here? <laughs> Where's your house? What's your job? ID, please. <laughs> Understand? Yeah. Nowadays you're not you're not like isolated anywhere. Next one. <laughs> Hi, master. Hi. Um, you have a microphone? Yes, I do. Okay. Turn it on. Yeah. Can you hear now? Yeah. Yes. Uh, master, <laughs> I have a good news from uh, America. Uh, there's a, a CVS pharmacy. Where are you? Over here. Okay. <laughs> CVS pharmacy? Yes. Uh, they, they have many chains in uh, throughout the whole nations. So um, I forgot how long ago, but just recently they announced that they stopped selling cigarettes in all of their stores. They in, know in, in, in the pharmacy? Yeah. No, normally they sell cigarettes in pharmacy? Yes, they do. Yes, they oh, do. Oh, man. Yes. So, so, I so, didn't know that. Right. So the pharmacy, they decided that they want to promote uh, health. So yeah. they, they, they stopped selling all the cigarettes and all the chains in throughout the whole America. Wow. And then they promote to be, uh, they said uh, to be uh, better in health, to promote health is stop selling cigarettes. Yeah. Yes, and they did that. Yeah, so that they should. Do that. Yes. Uh -huh. the pharmacy is supposed to sell the healthy things for you. Right. Cigarette is a killer. Everyone knows that. What a contradict, contradiction, no? Right. Oh, maybe they sell cigarettes so that you get sick, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you buy more medicine from them. Then it would be logical. So it's wonderful. It's just one brand of pharmacy or all pharmacies? No, it's just, it's just that one brand of pharmacy because there are other brands of pharmacy. They sell cigarettes because it's also make a lot, they make a lot of money, but they decided that they don't want to do that. So they are leading a pharmacy to do that.
Okay. Yes. Well, maybe we should put all this on internet anywhere. You know, whatever. Good news, yeah. Yes. So that other pharmacy may learn from it. I didn't know pharmacy sell cigarettes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What next? Cocaine or something? <laughs> Isn't that funny, huh? Yeah. <laughs> pharmacy is supposed to to help people to stay healthy, no? And cigarette is not. Oh God! All right, I'm glad. Okay. And then uh, another story that I like to share is uh, I am a, a U.S. Um, Navy Reserve officer, and in the in the reserve, um, you know, like we have to see patients, and they promote um, the patients to um, not smoking. Uh -huh. So uh, internally, in just within the the Navy. And uh, when we uh, check our patient, we ask them, do you smoke? And then tell them the risk and the benefits and then uh, encourage them to uh, stop to smoking. Stop. Yes. Okay. Very good. Very good. That's all. Oh my God. God. What? Thank you. What's all this here? <laughs> my God. And this water and then this tea and this another water. And is this another water? Oh, this apple juice. My goodness. Here. For you. Uh, oh, goodness sake. Please, don't open a supermarket <laughs> for me, okay? I don't really need all this. This I might need. This is, uh, today I told you to change it into this for me because I don't want to make a bad example. I told people not to use toilet paper and these are whitened, whitened, uh, 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 face tissue. And I only use this, which is made from straw, you know, from straw, uh, from China. I order big boxes for many years that I haven't used it up yet because uh, I use it very little. For one piece like that, I could use for, you know, one week. <laughs> yeah, like this. You see, I don't always need to use it a lot, even if I need to, to cover something with the, from the mouth. Just this is enough, and then you throw it away, huh? If you take the whole piece, then you throw the whole piece away. I did that many years already, not just now. And this is made from China, in China, and from straw only, from uh, those uh, in the field after they harvest. It's dry, and they don't use it, so they they use it for toilet paper. Normally, this is for the cows to eat, but nowadays the, the cow eats only soya beans <laughs> and maybe shrimp powder, whatever. You understand? And then humans are starving. And then they eat the second hand cow, second hand protein for cows. And then so many stuff. Okay, let me see what I can get rid of. This one I don't need. Anybody need the water now? Here you are, love. Sorry. Oh, I don't have other things to give you. Oh. <laughs> I drink already. You need it? Here you go. This one. Huh? Really? Ah, okay. Maybe I need it. You see, just, just one enough, you know? Yeah, just this is enough. No need to put so many things here. Okay, huh? In this, I put what I need, you see? And a book. Otherwise, they have to carry so much or many bags and stuff. I, have. I need this, you see? And so I put some dog bone in it in case my dog come out here. <laughs> and I have to distract him because he's very protective. I'm not sure how he reacts with you. So many people surrounding me. So I let him inside. Anybody who cough? Cough. Cough. <laughs> Don't lie to me. You should not, supposed to not lying. <laughs> when it comes to blessed food, you lie, huh? <laughs> Anyone else around here? Here you are. Okay, then we got rid of something. That's good. You have some cakes later, okay? All right. When I first came back here after 
couple of years, I'm not used to it anymore. So many clothes hanging, you know, different things that I don't ever need because different assistants, these different people came and buy different things for me because they think it's good for me. They, they mean well, yeah? They mean well. They know what's good for me, they think it's good. And this one thing, this one better, so we buy and then, uh, oh my God, I don't have time to throw them all out yet because I throw some out already and there's some more coming. So I better don't touch it. Because if I make room, I will put something more in again. <laughs> and and the storeroom, I don't know. Well, last time I did, I, I came in and I don't want to come back in again. Because if I come in, I have to begin sorting things out, you know. I don't like it so much. In my tent, in my tent, I feel well. Because I have only a, a few pair of clothes, which I chose, a comfortable one, yeah, that I wear every day. And then... Uh, um, there's a sleeping bag on, on, on the tent, huh? inside the tent. And a sleeping bag, that's it. A couple of clothes on one side and a telephone or something on, on the other side. It feels so good. But before I have this tent, I have just a canvas on top, big one, you know? But it's so windy, windy, it blows all the sand and everything in my eyes and all the time. I have to put a tent. One for me, one for my dog. After putting up one tent only, I feel already the space become immediately so narrow. I feel such a difference. Just one small tent, not big one, small one. I feel like I don't have space anymore. Such a difference does it make. And and in the, the hut and all that, I throw whatever I can possible out. I cannot bear too many things around, especially when you don't need it, you know, you feel suffocated. And if I stay in a house, for example, this house, big house, here, oh, I cannot bear it. I cannot bear too long. I have to run outside. So if I stay just, it feel heavy, you know, heavy maybe because of cement, because of bricks, and because of all the works that put into it. Maybe that's why. And also it's covered the sun and you don't feel the wind so naturally anymore. And then if I stay in any house, I have to watch TV because I cannot bear otherwise. But if I stay in just a hut, you know, and on top of just a hut, a small hut, like I do now still, even if I have house, I don't stay. And like a 17, 150, like that. And in front there is just a, a even a small corridor with cover on top with a with a, a clear plastic. Then I feel good. I feel a lot of space, you know. Even though in front of me is a wall and some little window, but it feel different because it's, uh, I don't see people around I, and a not heavy building. Understand? Then I don't ever watch TV. Even. You know what I mean? Sometimes I should. You know, to see the news or something different, invention and all that. But even then, I don't feel like watching it, you know. Sometimes I have to uh, make myself to watch. But if I stay in the house and I'm so bored, so suffocated that I have to watch TV, so I have some view in front of me, you know, something different that changed, otherwise I can't bear it. So if you think you like to watch TV a lot, uh, you think that you are addicted to TV, maybe you're not. Maybe it's a house that makes you feel like you have to do something, you have to see something lighter, moving, some scenery, you, you know what I mean? So you have to check out what your lifestyle is that maybe make you lose concentration or feeling very irritated inside that you sit and you could not meditate or you don't feel like sitting in that corner because you don't feel very comfortable with it, okay? Maybe it's a house. Maybe you should just sit outside. Maybe you should put up a tent in the garden <laughs> and go inside only for kitchen or bathroom. Yeah, if you have a garden or a balcony. I, I had an apartment. So sometimes I have to go different places. The reason I have that apartment because at that time it was so... Uh, rich in spiritual blessing at that time. Now is nothing. 
compared to everywhere else. But at that time, that's the place that I could connect to. You see, so I have that apartment. But I always uh, put up a tent outside in the balcony. Yeah, to sit outside. And come in, of course, you know, for whatever I need. But if I feel bad, I always go out sit in the tent or sit in the balcony without a tent. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, outside the weather is not too good. So you need some protection. But a tent is better than a house. For me, no? For me. So I'm telling you my experience in case you think it's your fault. Hmm? That you couldn't sit still and you don't want to go to that meditation corner. You feel like you just don't want to go there. And even if you force yourself to go there, you don't feel good. <laughs> you know, it doesn't help you to concentrate. Okay? Check out your lifestyle. Maybe you have too many things in your closet that you don't use, your kitchen, garage, everything, just throw it out. <sighs> but I'm so tired of having house, you don't know. How is because I have disciples coming and going, and everybody come, bring something else, and then or buy something else, and then don't use, and just throw it all in the garage, and then or some room, and then I have to clear it out again. <coughs> okay, okay. Anything else? Hello, Master. Hello, where are you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. Tell me. Um, it's my first time today. I, I see you. Uh, last November, I was initiated in Budapest. Uh, I come from Mongolia, but I live in Germany. And in initiate in Budapest. Yes. Mm. <laughs> <coughs> um, since my initiation, uh, I have uh, very nice things, and I want to share something. Okay. Um, just a few, okay? Just a few. Because everybody have a lot. Of them. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> just some important things. We can things. all write books. Yeah. Why don't you write your books, you know, about inner experience, and maybe you can earn money with it. <laughs> Tell me. The most nice thing is that my um, younger sister is vegan now, suddenly, uh -huh. and my uh, chef is also vegan. Oh. And some colleagues. <laughs> what did you say to them? Um, I just... Uh, very quietly, I uh, spread that uh, booklets. Ah, be, quietly. Be very quietly, yes. You don't bang it on the table no, and say, no. read it. <laughs> <laughs> I just let them uh, uh, where I work on mm -hmm. the desk, and it was very quickly away. So ah. now some of them vegan. Very good. Yes. Excellent. And, mm -hmm, my, my son is also vegetarian now. Mm -hmm. Completely, mm -hmm. and he has found a, a girlfriend also a vegetarian. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> yes, like and, a uh, like, huh? Yeah. And my younger sister, even even she is not initiated yet, she dreams of you, and um, you come to her in her dream. Very nice. Thank you, Master. Oh, you're welcome. I'm very satisfied, and thank you. Okay. That's outside experience. Inside you have also, right? Yes, my meditation is wonderful. Uh -huh. I'm very contented about this. My light and sound is perfect. Okay. Just perfect. Good. And I enjoy this very much. Very good. Thank you, Master. Enjoy this cake. Thank ah. you. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. I love to hear this. Okay. The red hair <laughs> from Czechoslovakia, huh? Bye -bye. Okay. Hello. Germany? Hello. No. Hello. No, no, no. You from Germany. She's from Czech. Yeah. Uh, vâng, con uh, xin nói. Uh, hôm nay con phải phải nói cái chuyện này ra bởi vì là uh, sự lợi ích của pháp môn quán âm mà con không nói thì con không thể nào mà mà yên ổn để mà. Something good. Vâng, ạ, rất là tốt ạ. Okay. Nhưng mà con muốn chia sẻ về uh, Sorry. chuyện mà. Yeah. Vâng. Những, um, I will translate later if I can. Yeah, tell me. Có thật của pháp môn quán âm nhà mình. Uh, từ lúc mà con uh, mới bắt đầu biết được pháp môn mà chưa có phương tiện, chưa phương tiện mà con uh, cũng chưa biết tên sư phụ, con chỉ mới đọc sách thôi thì là con đã có được được những cái thể nghiệm của sư phụ rồi. L lúc mà con nhìn thấy ảnh uh, linh ảnh của um, Phật bà Quan Thế A à, của của um, tổ như lai 
Thì con bảo là Nếu như phải là sư phụ Thanh Hải Thì sư phụ sẽ ra hiện ra cho con Sư phụ lại ra đúng Cái hình mà Phật tổ Như Lai Đấy là cái thời mà con chưa Phương tiện Thế rồi khi mà uh, Tiếp đến đấy Được ngày nào con cũng đọc sách sư phụ Và con thấy ngày nào sư phụ cũng đến Và con chỉ muốn tâm ấn thôi Thì sư phụ có Một hôm thì sư phụ Con đang ngủ thì sư phụ Mở mắt chữ hệ cho con và con nhìn thấy ánh sáng Ngày nào con cũng có ánh sáng Con không ngủ được vì ánh sáng Hôm một hôm con bảo Thôi hôm nay sư phụ cất ánh sáng cho con cho con ngủ Mai rồi sư phụ uh, lại cho con xem Thì là sư phụ cũng cất luôn Nhưng đến khi mà Đến khi con được truyền tâm ấn Ngày đầu tiên con truyền tâm ấn Con cũng Đêm hôm đấy là đêm mà con ngủ Chưa bao giờ có một giấc mơ ngủ như thế con không biết là con ở cái chỗ nào nhưng mà khi con tỉnh dậy con như một cái hạt xương ở trong cái đóa sen thôi rất là nhẹ nhàng không bao giờ có được như vậy khi con thì truyền tâm ấn xong được 5 ngày con về con thiền khi mà ngủ dậy đang thiền xong rồi đi vào vừa nằm xuống sư phụ đến sư phụ bảo đi con bảo là con đang ngủ mà sư phụ sư phụ bảo đi thế là sư phụ hãy con lên và cho con đi bay luôn bay luôn đến tối rất là tối và sấm chớp rất là nhiều và có mưa nên con bảo là sư phụ ơi mưa sư phụ bảo không phải mưa đâu đây là nước cam lồ đấy uống đi con con vừa mới nghe thấy nước cam lồ con uống rất là nhiều uống bao nhiêu đến khi mà con muốn uống sư phụ bảo là không phải không không sao đâu con cứ uống đi à, không hết được đâu lúc đấy con mới uống no rồi con tỉnh dậy à, con cảm thấy từ lúc đấy tiếp đấy tiếp đấy là đến khi con được truyền uh, tâm ấn được đúng 5 tháng À, đến, đến khi mà con được 5 tháng đi thiền tâm ấn à, đi thiền ở châu Âu ở Pháp đến hôm nhìn cô đồng tu ở tàu cô mới khoe với con là hôm nay tôi, tôi nhìn thấy hóa thân của sư phụ thích quá con mới buồn con bảo là thế là mình không thành tâm bằng cô ấy rồi con rất là buồn con ngồi con thiền thì lúc sau thì sư phụ lại cho con thấy mới đầu con thấy hình con gấu xong mà dậy sao lại gấu Xong rồi con nhìn thấy mắt của sư phụ rất là to bên mắt trái và cười. Nhưng mà mắt lại to như mắt trâu sư phụ. <cười> Xung quanh là ánh sáng, toàn bộ là xạ ánh sáng thôi. Lúc đi xong thể nghiệm đấy thì con biết là đấy là pháp tướng của Phật Nhi Lai. Bởi vì nói rằng là uh, Bạch Hào Uyển Chuyển Ngũ Tu Di Tám Mục nhờ Trừng Danh Tứ Đại Hải thì con nói đấy là uh, Phật Tổ Nhi Lai là sư phụ chính xác rồi. Đến khi con về con thiền lại tiếp tục đến khi mà trước khi con đi Mỹ cái năm 98 ấy hôm đấy con vừa mới thiền con thấy sư phụ đẩy cả một cái quả đất cả cái trái đất nhà mình cả cái trái đất này lúc ý là con cũng không biết cái tin đấy đâu nhưng mà một mình sư phụ đẩy cái trái đất này không bị va vào cái một cái vật thể gì đấy thì con không biết nhưng mà một mình sư phụ làm sư phụ từ ngoài đần vào và con đến khi sáng ngủ dậy thì con trai con nói mẹ ơi uh, tivi vừa mới phát là trái đất vừa mới thoát nạn không có thì uh, bị va vào một cái uh, mảnh sao uh, con biết rằng uh, vâng uh, lúc ý con con mới biết thiên thần cái tinh tinh thể trên trên vâng. trời mà vâng thì lúc lúc ấy con bảo là thế này mà người ta không thể biết được là tại sao lý do vì sao mà lại trái đất lại được được cứu như thế không biết được là sư phụ sư phụ đã làm tất cả khi mà con tỉnh dậy thì cái phòng con nó sáng trưng toàn ánh sáng hoàn toàn là rất là nhẹ nhàng của sư phụ hoàn toàn lúc đấy là như là sư phụ ở đấy đi ra con cũng như con thích con nằm mãi con hưởng thụ cái cái điều đấy đến khi mà con uh, tiếp tục tiếp tục đến khi mà ở sư phụ cho thiền ở Nam Phi cái hồi đấy đấy con lúc ý bởi vì là ở ngoài chợ đấy nó bị cháy mà con ra con chỉ nói mỗi câu thì vì là nếu mà tốt thì sư phụ để mà không tốt thì sư phụ làm gì cũng được con đi về thì khi mà cháy hết hàng hóa thì con đi về cũng vui vẻ chả có vấn đề gì cả và con lại đi tiếp thiền ở Nam Phi nhưng trước khi đi thì hôm ý cái thể nghiệm của con ấy nó bay như là tên lửa luôn bóng phóng rất mạnh ra khỏi vào 
người da thịt con hình như là bị 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 rách mũi mì tai coi như hở chỗ nào là rách hết sợ đến lúc con tỉnh dậy con ôi trời con phải sờ vào da thịt con xem nó có còn không đến lúc mà à vẫn còn nguyên đấy là 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 năm chín mươi tám chín mươi tám trời nhớ kiểu và con đến năm 2000 đến khi mà thế giới sắp có cái vấn đề thì sư phụ tổ chức ở Thái Lan ấy hôm đấy thì lúc mà sư phụ yeah. um, làm pháp um, tất cả đều 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 uh, đọc niệm niệm uh, thán tán tụng kinh đấy con cũng cùng hát cùng với sư phụ đêm hôm đấy thì buổi sáng con có thể nghiệm là con được đi uống rượu bồ đào tận trên cao con uống thì đang uống vui vẻ thì một vị vào bảo, bảo là rồi chỗ này sướng quá chẳng có thời gian không gian gì cả tha hồ uống rượu con vừa mới nghe thấy thôi không có thời gian không gian quả không ta phải về cái cõi có thời gian thế đúng lấy lúc đấy thì con <cười> nghe tiếng gõ cửa đánh thức dậy nhưng mà không phải là gõ cửa mà đúng là ở bên trong thôi à, vâng con cảm ơn sư phụ rất là nhiều con có rất nhiều thử nghiệm đến khi mà năm đấy là năm 2000 mà con cứ tích tụ mãi hôm nay con phải nói rất nhiều con con còn nhiều lắm con phải nói hết Thôi hôm nay ra hết rồi. chưa chưa hết ông hỏi viết ra à. viết ra xong rồi đăng vâng. báo cho coi cho vâng. mọi người coi đến khi mà chứ nói viết qua giờ mới hết vâng hả vâng ok vâng con 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 phải tiếp một một điều nữa là khi mà mở nhà hàng nữa khi mở nhà hàng đến lần cái thứ tại vì tất cả là giáo lý của sư phụ có cái gì khi mà tâm ấn sư phụ nói gì là có hết có một trăm phần trăm không sai một tí gì hết cả khi mà con làm nhà hàng lơ vi hút đến cái thứ tư thì hôm đấy là con rất là mệt mỏi bởi vì là không hiểu sao có cái áp lực gì rất là vồ mệt thì con mới bảo là sư phụ hôm nay trực tiếp làm thế nào cho tiếp cho con một cái sức mạnh để con uh, không chán không chán thế là sư phụ đêm hôm đấy cho con luôn cái thể nghiệm là ở trên ở trên trời trên trên mọi cứ hét hét tiếng con thôi la tiếng hoa hoa và hét và cười rất là ổn ầm ĩ con chạy đến đâu thì cũng ném đất chắn chặn đường con con cứ chắn chặn chắn 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 thì thì cứ bị ném đến khi con mới biết ra là à các vị thánh ở trên trời rất là vui và mừng cho con thì con mới cầm bà ô thế thì mình phải cầm những cái nắm đất này về để gia trì thì con muốn nói là tất cả những gì sư phụ nói là đều có thật hết không có một cái gì là sai cả nếu như bên trong mình mình luôn luôn là thấy sư phụ đến khi mà con mở cái nhà hàng thứ sáu thì cái hôm đấy tất tất cả các bạn thú vật lần lượt từng bạn đến chào con đây là con muốn chia sẻ với cả sư phụ và cả các đồng tu là sự thật là rất là lợi ích cho các bạn thú lần lượt mỗi một bạn vật đều đến để chào và chào theo những mỗi cách mỗi con có một cách chào riêng nhưng mà đến cuối cùng con con chim thì con tung nó lên và con đùa với nó và bạn cuối cùng là bạn chó một, một bạn chó đến là ở với con lâu nhất Đấy, là con vui với nó nhất Đấy là cái thể nghiệm về sau còn cái năm mà còn một cái năm mà hai nghìn 2001 ấy. con ngủ mơ con, con chết và cả thế giới cùng uh, cùng chết con mà tại sao mà lại tất cả đều chết mà lặng như là rất như thế này thì lúc ý tất tất cả dần dần cái âm thanh âm thanh bắt đầu có âm thanh và âm thanh làm sống hết tất cả từ người đến cây đến vạn vật thì lúc con biết ra là tất cả đều cái sự sống của cả cái vũ trụ này là âm thanh và âm thanh chính là sư phụ sư phụ chính là sự sống của tất tất cả toàn thể vạn vật trong vũ trụ này mà con muốn nói cái điều này thật sự là không có âm thanh thì chúng con không thể cựa quậy và cũng không thể đi lại và cũng không có sự sống ở trên cái thế giới này và sư phụ chính là là âm thanh và chính là tình thương mà chúng con hoàn toàn sống bằng cái tình thương này của sư phụ đấy là những cái điều mà con thấy hết Con cảm ơn sư phụ đã ban cho chúng con cái thiền đường này là cái mà tốt nhất trên cái hành tinh này. 
bởi vì mỗi một lần con đến đây con đều được sư phụ gia trị con rất là nhiều vâng tình, tình thương tình thương của sư phụ cho con tất cả vâng còn nhiều lắm nhưng mà nhiều lắm con nhiều vâng okay. nhưng mà con không nói được <cười> nếu không là kể hoài không có hết đâu Mm. Oh, I don't remember. Just many things that she has so much experience from inside. Uh, the the last two I remember. The other is more personal. And the last two I remember, like uh, she said last time when she didn't know anything about the uh, the comet. Comet. Tiếng Việt nói gì hả? Comet. Phải sai chỗ hả? Okay. Um, she didn't know anything about that, that because, and then she dreamed as in her meditation, she has experienced that uh, master, you know, your master <laughs> has uh, pushed the, the earth away so that it doesn't hit that comet. And, and only one, she's alone, does that. And then so the whole earth has been saved. She didn't know anything. And then when after she wake up, she, she talk longer, but I make it short, okay? Can't remember much of detail. And then when she, she wake up in the morning, her son told her, Oh, mother, mother, we are lucky. Uh, I just, uh, you know, the, on the news, on the news, it say that the earth has so lucky been escaped this disaster from the comic that day. And then she knew that is what is what. And she thought to herself, Oh, nobody knew that the master have saved the planet. Something like that, okay? And the second, the, the last one, she talked about the, some, something that she experienced, some, some, cái gì mà mà biết thành mình là quan âm, mình là, tại sao mà mà có cái, cái thể nghiệm đó? Tự nhiên thôi, từ lúc mà con thiền xong, con thiền xong thì con trong thiền là con thấy được là 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 cái trái đất mà sư phụ một mình sư phụ đẩy à, rồi rồi nhưng mà cái cái sau này cái sau cùng đó. âm thanh ạ à, âm sau thanh mà khi mà con mơ con thấy được toàn thế giới và toàn vũ trụ coi như là sắt luôn coi như là chết luôn à. tất cả người và các vạn vật trong vũ trụ khi mà con bảo ơ tại sao lại chết tất thế này thì bắt đầu âm thanh rất nhỏ 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 dần và bắt đầu lớn dần thì tất tất cả mọi người đều cử động và tất xong cả cây cối đều sống okay. And another experience she has is that uh, uh, she saw that the whole world is dead. Everyone is dead. Everyone, everyone, every all beings dead. And she was thinking, why? Why is everybody? Everything is dead like this. And then suddenly she heard the the sound. You know, the inner sound. It came in into the world. You know, very uh, light, very I would say low, huh? Very subtle in the beginning. And then it became uh, louder and louder and louder. And then all the beings uh, are dead and came back alive again. And then she, she in, in, inside her knowledge, she knows that is if there's no of this sound, no sound, then nothing can exist on this planet. And then she thinks, uh, I am that sound, and I am the life of every being on this planet. In, in her knowledge, in inside knowledge, uh, that she received that knowledge. Uh, short. <laughs> and the other one, so many, I can't remember. But I think a, for other people's sake, maybe later they make subtitle, they translate one by one sentence, is better. Okay? We, if, because she talks long already, and if I translate it as well, then it's all good experiences, you know, for her personal as well as uh, uh, universal. And she thanks me for blessing her with so many experience. And for this center, because whenever she come here, she feels such a blessing all the time. Yeah, that's it. It's better somebody else translate it. Otherwise, you think I make it more glorious. No, I didn't. <laughs> I, I make it less already. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Hoa. Cảm ơn sư phụ rất là nhiều. Ông có chỉ đâu? Tại vì sự sống của tất cả sư phụ là hoàn toàn là sự sống của chúng con.
nếu như sư phụ không có không có sư phụ thì chúng con không thể đi lại và không thể cự quả. Đây là cái thể nghiệm của con. Yeah, she said Đây là tình thương. If, if the master doesn't exist, then no one, nobody can even have any movement on this planet. Nothing can move. That's what she said. Could not even walk around. That's what she said just now. And she just thank the master for that. Your master. Yeah, she thank your master for that. Okay. Well, everyone has different experiences, yeah. you know, and I'm glad that you're happy. Yes. Dạ, và sư phụ âm thanh chính là tình thương và con cũng yeah. cảm ơn sư phụ rất nhiều là sư phụ bảo vệ chúng con bằng chân lý. Cái chân lý này cũng lại là tình thương sư phụ. Tất cả đều là tình thương yeah. và sư phụ con cũng mừng là vừa rồi sư phụ đã sinh ra chính sư phụ là người sinh ra tất tất cả những cái trái đất mới là người sư phụ là là người sinh ra trái đất bằng tình thương tất cả những cái tư cua trẻ của sư phụ là sư phụ sinh ra một lúc tất cả và sư phụ cũng chăm sóc các cái 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 cái, cái, cái trái cái vũ trụ nhỏ đấy và trẻ đấy là bằng tình thương của sư phụ sư phụ sinh ra tất còn hãnh diện và còn rất là sung sướng con được làm làm con của sư phụ đây là con thật sự là con con thấy thế con con cảm nhận được hết và con cảm ơn và tất cả đều cho con từ cái nơi này để con biết được những điều đấy mỗi một lần con đến đây là một lần con biết được thể nghiệm đều từ đây vâng ạ còn is good yeah. is good uh, nếu được vậy thì tốt ha huh? nếu mà được thể nghiệm vậy thì mình sung sướng là tốt ok mm. uh, she just thank your master again for her love because she <cười> She thinks uh, the master is the life of everyone and a new new planet, new world as well, because of love. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay, more or less like that. All right. Anyone else? Thôi được rồi nha Hoa nói ngoài không hết đâu viết ra đi viết nguyên cuốn sách đi. Okay. Then then rồi rồi biểu mèo lý in ra. Người nào muốn viết thể nghiệm của mình mà đem in ra cũng được. Okay. Hoặc là viết trên internet cho người ta coi. Huh? Okay. Huh? Okay. Dạ, vâng. Okay, hiểu rồi. Được. Viết thì muốn viết thì viết. Hello, master. This is my first time to talk to you. I would like to talk about uh, something about music and the art, and the following a uh, small questions to ask you. Uh, recently, in Formosa, Taiwan, our brothers and sisters are very positively spreading master's messages and the teaching by using all kinds of master's art, such as uh, paintings, poetry, musicals, musicals. And uh, most of the people who pass participate feel very blissful, and some can feel the heavenly love through your artworks. Mm. Mm. So we really feel uh, all good, art, good art can take human into a more peaceful mind and uh, gradually towarding a noble lifestyle. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's one of the one of the uh, the means. Yeah. Yeah. Dạ, yeah. alo sư phụ. Dạ yeah, tại vì con muốn uh, báo cáo với sư phụ những cái tin tức mới ở nước Áo ở uh, Việt Nam. Okay. Dạ. Yeah. Tell me. Tại vì uh, thứ nhất á, thì ông ngoại trưởng uh, trẻ của nước Áo á, ông Ngoài vừa họp một cái cuộc họp để cho cuộc hòa bình Trung Đông đã oh. ký xong. Yeah. Yeah. Rồi thứ hai nữa đó, thì ở uh, viên ở thành phố Viên á, mm. đang tổ chức rất là nhiều những cái uh, chương trình về vegan. Yeah. Thường á, thì mỗi một lần á, chỉ có được hai ngày thôi. Mm. Nhưng mà năm nay á, thì kéo dài đến năm ngày. Wow. Nhiều yeah. người tới không? Dạ. Yeah. Dạ nhiều lắm. Rồi trong cái uh, hội uh, bảo vệ thú vật của Áo á, yeah. nó uh, có uh, báo cáo là có hai cái uh, hotel không phải của hội mình mm. mà là hai cái hotel vegan. Mm. Một good. cái thì ở Tiroi, còn một cái nữa thì con cũng không biết cả đâu. Ok, very good. Yeah. Gets him better. <cười> con xin cảm ơn sư phụ, là sư phụ đã gia trì tại vì con gái lớn của con bây giờ thì nó nấu ăn nhưng mà nó nấu phải gần nó nấu cho những người bị bệnh ung thư á mà bây giờ người ta phải ăn mấy cái thức ăn trường chay á 
với lại nó cũng ăn cha trường con cảm ơn sư phụ ok con coi chi dạ thí nghiệm ba chục đồng hả <cười> ai nữa không uh, anyone else ok no then i read you story okay.